Bones and a nose. Bones and a nose. Let's talk about the bones and a nose. We begin with a skull. That is a cool looking skull too. Wow. There's the nasal bone. And over here's the perpendicular plate. Over here's the Vomer. Vomer, that's a cool name. Go Vomer. Vomer. What were those bones again? I forgot. Nasal bone, perpendicular plate, and the Vomer. Yo Vomer. One more time. Nasal bone, perpendicular plate, and Vomer. The Vomer. Next, we've got the middle nasal concha, the middle nasal concha, the middle nasal concha, and right below it, the inferior nasal concha, middle nasal concha, inferior nasal concha, middle nasal concha, inferior nasal concha. Oh my goodness. And then we've got an anterior nasal spine, an anterior nasal spine right there. Oh my goodness, how, what are we going to do? How can I remember all that? By drawing pictures. So I draw a picture of a horse, and what is he doing? Nasal, nasal bone. Let's move horsey over here. Create a vertical line of pictures. Horsey, nasal, nasal bone perpendicular plate, so horsey's being held up by a perpendicular plate here. And then Vomer, sounds like Voldemort, Voldemort, the evil magician in Harry Potter. So horsey, perpendicular plate, horsey, nasal bone, perpendicular plate, Vomer, 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 go Vomer. And then middle nasal concha, that sounds like one of those conch shells from the, over in the Caribbean, uh, in the Caribbean Sea that I, that I love so much. Ah, Caribbean, the Caribbean. Well, there's the middle nasal concha, and right below it, we're going to have an inferior nasal concha. So we got two conch shells over here, conches, inferior nasal. Concha. What about that anterior, what was it, nasal spine? What kind of a picture can we draw for that one? Oh, there we go. There's an ant with a heck of a long nose. There's his nasal and really pointy, scary spine. Anterior nasal spine. Anterior nasal spine. What do you know? Huh. So, what do we got right from the top? Starting from horsey, nasal bone, perpendicular plane, plate, and vomer. And then the middle nasal concha, eh? followed by the inferior nasal concha like conch shells, and then anterior nasal spine. What do you know? We got them all, just like that. In fact, you can even go in reverse, just by looking at the pictures. Think of the pictures. Horsey being held up by a perpendicular, by a perpendicular, which is being held up by Lord Voldemort, Vomer, who is sitting right on top of a conch shell, who is sitting next to his little baby conch shell, was inferior to him, and they're all being held up by the ant with the spiny back and big nose. Huh, what do you know? Well, that's it for now. It's been fun. So long from Hoboken Garrett. Bye-bye now.